Alright guys, this is my first YCS in like 8 years and we're going to YCS Niagara, so let's go. <sighs> so I've been pretty tired prepping for Niagara and I figure... What better way to relax than a bath with my water buddies here? Get me out of here! It's literally the day of Niagara and I got like three hours of sleep because I decided to stream the night before. Because if there's one thing I can recommend you do before an event, is get sleep. I don't know why I can never do it myself, but sleep is important. And I also have allergies, so it's gonna be a fun day. Alright, let's go. So I've been keeping on the low what deck I'm gonna play for YCS Niagara, but if you guys follow me on my Twitch, which I just recently started to stream, then you guys already know that I've been playing Math Mech. You know what else is long? Not you, long one. I have a new boyfriend now. Final Sigma? You mean Final Chadma, dude. Dude's a total fucking Chad. But yeah, guys, go ahead and give my Twitch a follow. It's Where is Sweet. I stream every Friday at 10.30 p.m. Eastern Time. And don't let me ask you twice. Can I get a small world? Can I get a small world? Can I? Oh, okay. you put me Wait. over there. Give me a fucking <laughs> straddle. Did you put down the small world? Uh, Did you get that? That last the one? Price? Sure. Yeah, the small world. And the Mystic Mind. Sorry? And the Mystic Mind. He gave you a fucking Thank you. Wait, did they get our Mystic Mind? No, I'm gonna ask them when they ask them about the small world? Who's drinks are gonna ask them? Do they not even know the reprint? Alright, cheers! <laughs> Wait, what's that? You really just need to go to the house I'll tell you that right now. Nah, nah, you're good, you're good. I kinda wanna get one more drink, I'm like, oh, I'm gonna do it. I think I can hold all this game, putting everything in there. I'm gonna kick it through. Fuck people behind. Robots, babe? No, only one birthday in my life. I just want to play test. Yeah, I just want to play test. What the fuck? Don't make me laugh. Oh, I'm grabbing a goof in, motherfucker. I wake up to grandma's, man. Yo, you think I'm watching Twitter for me? Nah, motherfucker, I'm fucking land for me, bro. I'm land for me. Ray. Why you double cheat up on a YCS afternoon? It's time for YCS. Okay, it's so fucking hot outside. Um. We're here at Niagara, but I'm not playing in the main event because if you guys don't know, YCS Niagara got all booked up and I didn't pre-register, so yeah, not able to play in the main event, but who said I was here for the main event anyways? You don't win the motherfucking giant card, baby. Give me a fucking straddle. <laughs> Really? You like the card? You want it? Hope? It's on yours? It's great. It's great. It's great. It's great. Good job.
Hey, I just got back from my CS Niagara and I am very, very tired. I think I only got like three to four hours of sleep each day, but I just wanted to sit down here and do a little bit of recap because I feel like I haven't done this in a while. So if you guys don't already know, I'm kind of a new player. I just started back in about like late February and this journey has not been a straight one. <laughs> there are a lot of things that I still need to learn about the game. Sometimes it's a little bit overwhelming trying to shove all that knowledge down my brain. Sword Soul was a really really fun deck for me and I picked it up maybe like a couple months ago and I just recently felt like I was actually getting good at it. But then you know, Pope came around and Sword Soul just kind of got power crept away and I had to find a new deck which is where I found Mathmac. And technically, I don't know if you would consider Sword Soul like a combo deck, but I feel like Math Mech is a lot more difficult than Sword Soul, and I just had a really, really hard time at first understanding Math Mech. And I still don't really know how to play Math Mech to its full capabilities, but when I went to Niagara with it, I hadn't had played Math Mech in real life with the real cards, just solely on Dueling Book. and. And I think that inexperience with using the deck in real life kind of made me a bit more nervous. So yeah, needless to say, I played like shit with Math Mike at Niagara, so... So I played the giant card and it's single elimination and I lost the first round. I faced against a friend of mine. He was playing Eldritch. I was just so nervous for some reason, like I just... Everything I knew about the deck flew out the window. Like all that practice that I did on Dueling Book, gone. Then... I played in one win a mat and I actually managed to win a round but then it was in elimination so I got eliminated the second round. But I played against tier limits. Since that's the deck that all my friends play, I kinda know how to play against tier limits. Even though tiers is kind of my worst matchup, but I won against him, but I know I made a shit ton of misplays. So the second round I played against the mirror match with the Igneister build in it, and he was just the better math net player, clearly. Playing at Niagara kind of just gave me that wake-up call, that motivation to play a lot better than how I did at Niagara because if you guys saw me, like, just just burn that from your brain. Like, if you guys saw me playing at Niagara, burn that memory. Sometimes I feel like in my journey at this point now, I should know a lot more than what I do. Like, literally about a week-ish ago, I learned what co-linking was on stream. And I don't know, it's kind of embarrassing because like, I should know that by now, right? But I don't know. Like I played Thunder at first, which you don't really need to use your extra deck. And with Sword Soul, you don't really have co-linking link monsters. There's literally only two link monsters that they really use in that deck. I know in my last video I said I was going to put in more time into Yu-Gi-Oh, but I hate making excuses, but I just... You know, I have school, I have work, I have this content creating, it's just a whole bunch of stuff going on. I still haven't found the balance on how to manage my time between all these things. But you know what? I came back from Niagara and I'm setting a goal for myself. Every day, I'm going to try to play Yu-Gi-Oh! whether it's on, you know, Dueling Book or Remote Duel. Or at least I'm going to try to watch a few informative Yu-Gi-Oh videos just so that I can at least remember what the cards do because that's I think the number one biggest thing that goes wrong in my duels is no matter how many times I read the card I just instantly forget what the card does when I put it back down and give it back to my opponent. You're gonna summon Pot of Greed. Can I actually read that real quick? Alright, thanks. Okay, that's good. Wait, I forgot what it does, and I literally just read it. And I also wanted to set another realistic goal for myself, which is getting a day two at a YCS. And the next YCS I'm going to go to is YCS Pasadena, I believe. And yes, my goal for then is to make day two for Pasadena. I think it's a pretty realistic goal because I don't think I'm a bad player. I mean, if you saw me at Niagara, then you'd think otherwise, but I just tend to choke in real life really hard. Which is weird because I don't really get that nervous as much as I did in the beginning when I played Yu-Gi-Oh! at first, but I definitely don't 
take my time to be fully aware of the whole game state. I tend to just rush things because I don't want my opponent feeling like I'm slow playing them. I just think it would be fucking amazing if I could make a day two and even more amazing if I could top a YCS. Top 32, I think that would be fucking cool. Tonight, I'm gonna go to locals. I haven't been to a local since, I don't even know, like a couple months now. You know, in order to reach my goal of getting a day two at Pasadena, I, I need to be playing at least, or at least try to play every single day. So there it is. The grind starts now. They keep summoning out Final Sigma and I, they keep calling it Final Sigma. I don't know what it means. <laughs> All right, it's, it's when you, uh, like, what kind of summon is this? Um, yo, okay, okay, okay. Yo, let me rephrase the question. She's wondering what Bofa means. And Sugma. Bofa? Yeah, what does Bofa okay. mean? No, we have to get something. Have Bofa be than when you Sugma ball. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm done. Let's go! Hey guys, it's the end of the video, and the night is still young. I'm actually gonna go karaoke with my Yu Gi Oh friends, and I'm gonna enjoy the rest of the night but I'm gonna end the video here. You guys already know the deal. Like, comment, and subscribe to my YouTube. Um, please follow me on my TikTok, Twitter, and Instagram at where it's sweet. And stay tuned for the special song for you guys at the end of the video. A song for my Yu-Gi-Oh players. Facts, facts, Yu-Gi-Oh. <laughs> Sword soul, sword soul.